Okay, welcome to the Marine Creek oh. Drainage Basin Sewer Inceptor Phase 2 Part 2 Improvements. That's quite the mouthful. This is a WebEx design meeting. If you can see the screen and you have a question, go ahead and go down to the chat in the bottom right hand corner and type in your questions and we will uh, go to those as soon as the presentation is over. Your project manager is Walter Norwood with the Fort Worth Water Department. We also have Council Member Flores here who wants to say a few words before we start. Council Member. All right, thank you very much, Sally. This is uh, Carlos Flores, Council Member for District 2 and welcome everyone who is online with us to hear about part two, the Marine Creek uh, drainage basin improvements. Uh, this project is going to concentrate on the replacement of sanitary sewer lines uh, through Marine Creek Lake Park and run parallel to Marine Creek Reservoir. Uh, the newer sewer, I've been told, uh, begins at 10 Mile Bridge uh, by the Marine Creek boat ramp and parking lot, and then it'll follow uh, the path of the walking trail. Uh, so looking forward to learning more about this uh, with you all, and I'll turn it back over to staff. Okay, Walter, it's yours. Thank you. Okay, my name is Walter Norwood. I'm a senior civil engineer with the Fort Worth Water Department, and I'll be the project manager. And I'm going to do this presentation for you where we've done the introductions and we'll do a, an overview, overview and show you the area we're working in and go over a few frequently asked questions and show you the timeline of the project. Um, as, as I said, I'm the project manager, Walter Norwood, 817-392-5026 or walter.norwood at fortworthtexas.gov. We also have our engineering design consultant on from Half and Associates. This is uh, this project is in Council District Two, and it'll impact the Marine Creek Community, Northwest Fort Worth Neighborhood Alliance, Marine Creek Meadows, Bowman Estates, and possibly even neighbors of Jenkin Heights, Crestridge area. And before I before I keep going, I just want to say that this is a design public meeting. We have not uh, scheduled the construction yet or, or gone out for bids. The purpose of this meeting is to uh, get input from the citizens and stakeholders so we can incorporate that into the design. First thing I'm going to explain is what an interceptor sewer is or why we call it an interceptor. And uh, that's basically a, a, an interceptor is a major sewer that gets flow from smaller trunk lines and even smaller uh, mains that go in front of your house. And as, as we go down the basin, all this flow is combined and directed towards the wastewater treatment facility. So you can read this if you need to, or uh, you can get the uh, presentation. But essentially an interceptor takes flows from laterals. Those are the street the sewers in front of your house and the local lines and trunk sewers. And uh, like I said, it connects it, collects it into the interceptor and into even larger interceptors to take it to the treatment plant. So an interceptor can also, it's also known. Anyway, sewer lines are also known as interceptors. This map on the right shows you the, the limits of the project with the blue line towards the bottom here that begins or ends at 10 Mile Bridge Road, goes through the park and and crosses just the shallowest part of the lake. The first phase, this is this is phase two. The first phase went from 10 Mile Bridge Road to the northwest behind Lamb Creek Drive. And uh, that one, that sewer 
replaced a 36 inch with a 42 inch sewer. This project is called phase two part two. And again, the project is shown with the dark black line on the, in the picture on the left. You can see the, the walking trail uh, approximately 100 feet to the southeast of the sewer, except where they cross in two locations near the end of the project. We're going through the, the parking lot for the boat ramp and the trailhead there. So you can see the, the uh, swim, swimming pool and Kings No Parkway to the northwest of our project, uh, two to 300 feet away and the houses back up to the park. There are also some houses on New Castleton Lane we'll, uh, back up to the to the boat dock area where there'll be construction. So part two of the Marine Creek sewer project, it will uh, replace an existing 30 inch sewer with a new 42 inch diameter sewer. Where we cross the reservoir, I mentioned that we're crossing the shallowest part of the lake there is a siphon, so it has two pipes and it'll be a 42 inch and an 18 inch. The purpose of this project is to uh, replace the main, which has a, a history of, of needing repairs, but also to add capacity. There's been a lot of development in the area and we need additional capacity in the sewer main. The picture on the right shows the basin that is collected by this interceptor. It goes all the way to the Tarrant Denton County line. And uh, you can see the Mar Marine Creek Lake right here just north of 820, that's the part we're working in. The basin for Marine Creek goes farther to the southeast towards, towards the uh, stockyards area. This uh, picture shows what happens if we don't repair our mains and keep them in good shape with adequate capacity. And this exhibit shows a typical sewer service from your house to the main. As I said, the main that this service line is connected to it goes from your, your house and connects to the main in the street. And those are what we call laterals. Those are collected into larger sewers. So the sewer we're replacing doesn't actually have a service line that connects to your house. This project is going to require bypass pumping. And that means we're going to plug the old main before we start replacing it and pump the flow around the area we're working in. So that has to happen continuously during the project. The, uh, the pumps are going to be set up on the north side of 10 Mile Bridge Road and discharge uh, past the end of our project in the park. If, uh, well, we, we usually close, we backfill the pipe as we go, but there'll be a, a small section of it that's open, that the trench is left open and, and we uh, will be fencing off that small area at the end of each day. But they, they backfill as they go, so there won't be much that's open. 
there are two areas where we cross the trail, but the trail won't be closed. Even in the areas where we cross it, we'll build a temporary section so that the trail can stay open. And when we're done, we'll replace the trail with uh, the same concrete that is there now. The only road that should be impacted by this work is the 10 mile bridge at near the boat dock. And we'll be able to work around that as we, while we're working, we'll be able to have traffic work around that and, and not close the boat dock. Since we're going through the park area, um, we, we need a fairly wide path to for the equipment and there are going to be some trees removed. Those trees are shown on the construction drawings, mostly within the existing easements, but uh, there are going to be some trees removed. Now, as I said, this is a design meeting. We'll have another meeting later when we get ready for construction and where you can meet the contractor. So. This meeting is to uh, get comments and address them. After that, we'll advertise for bids from contractors, and then we'll award it generally to the low bidder, typically to the low bidder. And then we'll schedule another pre-construction meeting with you to uh, show you the, the final construction plans and and uh, get the contractor schedule and so you can meet the contractor and the inspector that's assigned to the project. There'll be uh, additional updates and uh, construction will start. When, when the contractor gets ready to work, if he's doing something close to your house or that impacts you, he will put a door hanger on your door seven days before that that work starts. Nobody's going to uh, have their sewer cut off during this time, and you will always have your service working. If you need additional information, you can you can go to the website below for project updates. You can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov. It's f o r t w r t h t e x a s dot g o v, and you can enter the project number one zero zero two seven four dash two in the search bar, and that will take you to that page. The link to this meeting, the project map, and the frequently asked questions will be linked to that page. And as I said, I'm the project manager, Walter Norwood, 817-392-5026, or by email at walter.norwood, N-O-R-W-O-O-D, at fortworthtexas.gov. If there are any emergencies that come up after hours or any other time, you can all 24 hours a day, you can call this number 817-392-4477, select option one and report the emergency. You can also call our non-emergency center from seven in the morning until seven at night, Monday through Friday, at 817-392. Four four seven seven. If you would prefer, you can down, download an app for your phone, my FW, and report overflows or leaks that way. So I guess we're ready for questions. That's the end of my presentation. Okay, we don't have any questions in the chat. Does someone uh, have a question for Walter? 
Ed, do you have any questions? Uh, no, thank you, Sally. I, I, it looks to me from looking at the map and all that, I'm further. Let me think here. That's north, south, east. I'm further east on King's Snow than what looks to be impacted at all. So that's good news, I'm guessing. So yes. that would be my question, actually. I wanted to see where, how far it was going down, but clearly it's not coming uh, down by the back of the house here. So no other questions. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Does anybody else have a question? Clarification? Need to see another a slide again. I did put the link, um, the direct link into chat if you want to click on that, but it is a lot easier just to do the project number that uh, Walter showed. And we'll probably have all of this information uploaded on the website just this is Monday. We should have it uploaded no later than Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and I'll uh, contact the neighborhood association so they have that information as well and and you carlos of course yes and the project number is the same as the password with a dash two right uh 100 can you go back walter dash two yes yep perfect <laughs> that's the easiest way to, to search for it on there okay Okay, no one else has questions. We will call it a night. Um, you can call Walter for any questions you have. Again, Walter said we'll come back after the project is awarded to a contractor and we'll meet with the community again. Uh, Councilor Flores, did you have anything else? Nothing at all. Just appreciate staff's uh, information and uh, everyone's time tonight. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good night, everybody. All right. Good night. Thank you all for taking the time. Thank you.